welcome back to my channel i feel like i haven't filmed in a really long time this once a week schedule is kind of like throwing me off i feel like i'm not filming enough but you know i gotta make some money okay i ain't making money off youtube yet i only have time to post once a week so i'm so sorry I have another boxy charm video for you and this is for the month of February. So with Valentine's Day being tomorrow, I'm going to try to come up with a Valentine's Day look with whatever's in this month's box. Boxy charm always has these cards which show you what products they have and what the original price is. So the first thing in the box is this Ofra Cosmetics Pop Up Mini Palette. And this retails for $19. And then they gave me a blush. This retails for $12. So I'm just going to open this up. Plop this in my palette. So I thought it was a bronzer, but it's not. So I'm going to go ahead and bronze myself up. And I'm using my Too Faced Dark Chocolate Solier Deep Tan Matte Bronzer. I'm also going into my BH Contour and Blush 2 palette into this dark shade right here. I'm just going on the very bottom of my cheekbones. Just give a little bit more depth. Next thing in the box are these crown brushes. They always come in clutch with the brushes. There are three brushes. This trio brush set retails for $29.99. Use this three-piece pro brush trio to contour your face to perfection. Oops, I already did that. So I guess I was supposed to contour with these, but it's a little too late. I guess I'll just use this to apply my blush. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into the Ofra blush. So this blush is really subtle, at least on my skin tone, because it's like a really dark blush. Definitely buildable though. I'm going to set my face with some setting spray and then apply some highlighter. I'm going to go into my Anastasia Moonchild palette into Pink Heart. And I'm going to use this medium sized brush that Crown provided. These brushes are really thick and soft. Yeah, I'm not really feeling that brush for highlight, so I'm gonna try this smaller brush, which looks like this. I wasn't a big fan of those brushes for specifically what I was doing. I felt like it took me a lot longer than to just use a regular highlighter brush. Maybe I'll try the brushes out another day for something else. But I might try the smaller brush for my eyeshadow, which I'm going to do right now. And they did not provide any eyeshadow. So I'm going to go into my Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette. And I'm going to go into this shade right here. And I'm not going to use this brush yet. I'm just going to use a regular flat fluffy blending brush like this. I'm going to go right into my crease. Let me zoom in a little bit so you guys can get a better look. Next shade I'm going into is this color right here and I'm going to use the crown brush and I'm going to go all over my lid. Then I'm going to dip into this shade. Using that same brush, I'm just going to focus this on my outer V. Going back to my first brush, I'm going to blend this out. I 
last color I'm gonna do is this color right here and I'm gonna use this little tiny tapered brush and I'm gonna focus that on my on the very outer corner I think my brush does have a little bit of black on it so if you want to you can mix a maroon shade with a little bit of black then I'm going back to my first brush and blending this out again because I don't want any harsh lines. Next thing in the box is this black eyeliner pencil from Vintage. Vintage Cosmetics. And this retails for $21. Kind of expensive for um, just a eyeliner pencil. But we'll see how this works. I think I'm going to smoke this out a little bit on my top lash line and bottom lash line. Let me grab a smudge brush. So I just went ahead and added some more of this shade in the middle and this shade right here on the outer corner. I'm going to go into this pink. And I'm going to take this black eyeliner pencil again and smudge that on my bottom waterline. I'm going to go into this dark brown with my smudge brush and I'm going to go below the black and I'm going to go into some black with my tapered brush, add some to the outer corner. Okay, now I'm going to add some mascara and I'm using Tarte's Tartiest Mascara. And I'm using Revlon's Ultimate All-in-One Mascara just to make the bottom lashes a little bit thicker. For some lashes, I'm using these ones. And um, I believe these are Bold Face Makeup. I think it's in the style Bold is Beautiful. I'm not sure. Okay, moving on to the next product in the box. It's this... X Faux Lips Plumping Lip Exfoliator by Her Cosmetics. This retails for $17. Smells like coconut. Now it smells like peach. Hmm. It's um, shea butter, raw sugar, and exfoliating beads. So I do have another one of these exfoliating lip plumping type things from Wonder Kiss. Um, so if you want to check that out, I'll leave it in the link above and in the description below. Um, I do find that this is a little bit more secure or stable than the Wonder Kiss one. And the Wonder Kiss one kind of like melts onto your lips and this one stays in its shape. Which is really good to kind of apply more pressure to get the dead skin off. And the last thing in the box is this Cover FX lip gloss, I think. It's like a holographic shimmer veil. That's what it's called. Let me swatch it. Ooh, very holographic. I kind of don't want to just put this shimmer on. So I'm going to apply this Jeffree Star Androgyny lipstick first. I'm going to apply the Cover FX one like in the center just for like whoa. Woohoo! That is bright as shit. I'm just gonna tone this down a little bit. I just wanted a little highlight. I don't want to highlight the whole thing. Alright, well, this would be a very good inner corner highlight, so I'm just gonna apply some to my inner corners. And the cheeks, why not? Look at that! Oh my god! Mmm! Girl! I'm gonna put some under my eyebrows as well. So, I'm gonna use a little tiny brush. I decided to cover that up because there's just so much glow going on in the face. I don't need it on my lips either. Holy shit. 
my favorite thing in the box this month. Yes, a boxy charm. Yes, cover effects. <laughs> Itch. I'm feeling feeling myself. I am feeling so highlighted. Oh my god, look at that. Look at it. Well, this completes this boxy charm slash Valentine's Day makeup tutorial review product review first impressions type thing you know Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Let me know any other looks you want to see in the comments below and you know the drill. Stay caked, stay fierce, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!